Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Big Ends Game. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 22 Diamond Dice videos. Today, we got roster update predictions. If we go to the calendar on, what is it? Yeah, what do you mean? What is it? Of course, Friday, we have a new roster update and it is one of the bigger ones of the year. The overhaul of player attributes based on advanced metrics from first half of season, fielding, speed, pitches, and more. So you're going to be seeing fielding upgrades and downgrades. You're going to be seeing speed upgrades and downgrades. We're going to be seeing pitch selection, choice, all that stuff, upgrades and downgrades. So yeah, it's going to be a big roster update. Now, I don't have as many investments as I typically do, strictly because I needed to sell some of them for the Jackie Robinson collection, but I still have a good amount. So yeah, let's go to 84. I'm just going to do it this way. And I just have a list right here. First guy I'm going to talk about is Emmanuel Classe. Now, Emmanuel Classe is around, he, he's getting close to that diamond quicksaw value. I think he's going to go past 85, so I think you can still make profit at 2700 to 3750 That'll be about 1K per, per, per car that you buy. But Emmanuel Classe has just been phenomenal. I don't actually, like, when, I, when I've decided these cards, I look at the stats, obviously, but it's just kind of... I don't know it's kind of repetitive me every single time one of these guys comes up saying they've been having a great season with so and so era fip uh whip whatever it is strikeouts or batting average or ops or weighted runs created plus rbis homers all that stuff so i'm just not going to read off the stats i'm just going to mention guys and you i mean you can look at the stats yourself i looked at the stats when i decided these cards but that's just what i'm going to do from now on but yeah, Emmanuel Classe has been very, very good this year. And I think he's going to go to an 86. So the next guy I have on the list is... Or I'm not. These aren't all predictions to go diamond. These are just guys that I think you should keep on your radar. Adolis Garcia. Now, Adolis Garcia is an 83. And as you can see, if he gets plus 11 versus lefties, he'll go to an 85. But one thing is that I've been noticing with the inside edge is... He is an 85 overall with plus five versus righties. So if he just has like a good two weeks against righties, he's going to be a sneaky diamond pick. Like that, that is an easy score and he's around 2200. He's not going to go diamond this week, I don't think. But once his price goes back down, if he hits righties really well, he's going to be really cheap and a really smart investment for you guys because he only needs plus five versus righties for him to go diamond. Next guy I'm going to talk about is someone who I actually have invested in. It's Dylan Cease. Now, Dylan Cease, I have 30 of them. Dylan Cease has been phenomenal all season long. I think his season ERA is like 2.02 or something like that. He was an all-star snub. He's around 2,300. I think he's going to go to 84, but I think he is 100% going to be a diamond eventually by the way that he's been pitching. Now, 2300 Honestly, right now, I wouldn't buy too many of them. I would buy a few, but I wouldn't buy too many of them because I think he's only going to go to an 84. I don't think he's going to go to an 85. If he does, whatever. I'm happy I make my stubs. But if he does go to an 84, I think his price is going to go down. So, you know, there is a risk, but make you can make your own decisions. The next guy is Clay Holmes. I've had 53 of him for about a month now. I bought them all at pretty much... 900 stubs when he was an 81 overall i noticed a trend when you go from silver to gold when you're silver and you're over a thousand stubs and you go to gold your price goes down his went down i got him at around quick sub value at 81 bought them for what like 800 700 that's not really quick sell value but it's close to quick sell value and now he's almost 3000 stubs soon to go diamond eventually i don't know if it's going to be this one but it's most likely going to be the next one if it's not clay holmes has been him and Edwin Diaz have been the most two most dominant relievers in the game this year. Clay Holmes should win reliever of the year in the AL. Edwin Diaz should win reliever of the year in the NL. I don't know why I'm talking about Edwin Diaz. But yeah, Clay Holmes, I honestly think 2,500 is not too terrible, especially because he could go past an 85. He has been pitching like a 90 plus, like he just has. If you guys listened to me in previous roster update predictions when he was cheap to buy him, you're gonna thank me later. So yeah. The next guy I'm going to talk about is Andres Jimenez. 
Now, the thing about Jimenez is, you know, his contact could definitely go up. I don't think it's going to be enough for him to go diamond strictly off contact. Is he going to have enough power? That is my one concern with Andres Jimenez going diamond. Is he going to have enough power to get an upgrade to go diamond? You never know. He's having a phenomenal year. He was an all-star. He's around 2,300. So he's a little risky in my opinion. Austin Riley is another guy that I have on my list. Now, Austin Riley is in the same boat as some cards in previous years where they're already such a great hitter like their card where I don't know where they can go from here. Austin Riley this season has been amazing. This month he has been the best player in baseball honestly hitting wise but he already has elite hitting and if he can get a fielding upgrade he's 100% going diamond. He still has a great chance to go diamond. I just think that they're gonna have to completely like Revolution, not revolutionized, but give a huge boost to his hitting for him to go diamond. Does he deserve it? Yeah, but is SES going to do it? I'm not sure yet. That's my one concern with him. Next, I'm going to talk about Christian Javier. He's not going diamond this update like he just isn't, but this is a guy to look out for. He is literally quick sell, like 83, no buy orders. You can get him for quick sell value right now. He has had a phenomenal season. You know, he has been great for the Astros. He was a part of the no-hitter against my Yankees, which was just abysmal to watch. He's been very good all year. He had like one blow-up start right before the All-Star break. But since, I mean, he's just had a really good year and he's cheap right now. So that's why he's here. He's not gonna go diamond this update, but he's more for next update. Next, we are going to talk about Julio Rodriguez. Now, if we look at Julio Rodriguez, and we look at his hitting stats. Is he going to get the boost with hitting stats? Probably not. Now, here's the thing about this roster update. It has fielding upgrades. And Julio Rodriguez has not played like a 64 overall fielder with 63 reaction. I think he's going to get a fielding upgrade and he's going to go to diamond. He's a little below the 85. I don't think he goes higher than 85. He might. Who knows? But he has a great chance, especially with the fielding upgrades. If the fielding upgrades weren't happening this week, I would be a little more hesitant because he would need hitting upgrades for split size. And he's had a great year, but he was just injured. And yeah, I, I, I'm not sure about the hitting, but the fielding is definitely going to be possible. The next guy I have on my list is actually Juan Soto. Now, the thing about Juan Soto is I don't know why they downgraded him so much. Like, he's Juan Soto. I don't care if his batting average is down. It's batting average. It's an overrated stat, okay? It still has value. Don't get me wrong. It still has value. It determines out of a 1,000 at-bats how many of them they're going to get a hit. It still, has a it still has value, but it doesn't mean that when someone's hitting 240 that they're a bad player. Juan Soto is an elite player. I don't know why he even went down to gold. He's been very, very good since he went down a goal. He has been elite. He's been Juan Soto, the typical Juan Soto. He has no protection in that Nationals lineup. It'll be much better when he gets, like I was gonna say when he gets traded to the Yankees as a Yankees fan, but ho hopefully for him he gets traded. Uh, but yeah, he's gonna go up, like he just is. He's Juan Soto. He's gonna go diamond. He, he should go diamond. He shouldn't even be a gold. I don't know why he is. Now, one more person I'm going to talk about is going to be, where is he? Luis Castillo. Luis Castillo, I have 50 of them. Now, let me go to my completed orders. Is he, where is he? Luis Castillo, Luis Castillo. Yeah, 730, okay. So he's around the same. 81 overall, 730. That's a little above quick sell because his quick sell is 600. But he has been so good this season and for him to be less than 1,000 subs right now, honestly, is a steal. I think he's gonna go to an 83, maybe an 84. On Friday I don't think he's gonna go diamond but snag these cards now like snag it now while he's cheap because if he goes diamond you're gonna be making 2,300 stub profit per card and I have 50 of them and if you do the math the math what am I, what am I talking if you do the math sorry if you do the math that would be 115 K stubs and profit before the tax 10% of that is 11.5 so it would be like one 
04 and a half, roughly, like a little over 100K if you buy 50 of them in profit. So yeah, that's just, that's really good for profit. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your Snake from Against Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.